Hello, Aries. I'm going to pull a few cards and just see what's going on with your love life, what cards want to tell you in general. Um, just see what's coming in for you over the next couple weeks or so. And in the last reading I did, I was getting that you have an ex that's really thinking about you heavily. They might be coming through your dreams. Um, you might just be feeling their energy, kind of missing them out of nowhere. They are. It is mutual, I feel. This person is thinking about you too. Um, but you have new love coming in. You have new love that's either just come in or is coming in. And I feel like this new love is going to be a million times. It's, it's going to be everything you've been hoping for. It's, it's going to be that kind of love that you've been waiting your whole life for. So I would... If this ex does end up messaging you, you know, especially with Mercury Retrograde coming up, if they if they cave and message you, um, you know, stay strong. Don't don't go back into that cycle, that pattern with them out of loneliness, because I think you've come a long way breaking those patterns so that you can finally start attracting better quality people. And, you know, it's it's hard when you're just going through the motions and you're just trying to hold on and you're trying to keep the faith and love um, I know it's it's easier said than done. It's really difficult when you have someone right there telling you they want to see you. It's like even if you know they're not right for you, even if you know it's not going to go anywhere, it's, it's hard when you're feeling alone to just kind of ignore somebody that's trying to spend time with you. But, you know, remember why they left in the first place or why you left them in the first place. You know, don't romanticize it really be honest with yourself and and during mercury retrograde really try to rise um above the loneliness and don't get sucked back into that cycle because like i said you've got a new person that's either just come in or coming in and you know they're they're not um your usual type it's not going to be like the exes that you've i think you had a pattern with people in the past you had exes that were all kind of in the same energy and i think that this Feel like you, you've kind of leveled up so this new person coming in would be just so much different than um any of your exes would be so i would i would hold out for that if i were you i would say stay, stay strong and keep working on releasing exes and releasing those patterns and don't get sucked back into a toxic cycle i saw the world card kept wanting to come out when i was shuffling earlier for you guys too so i think it's um I mean, I think the world card is, is saying that, you, yeah, you've completed that cycle. Yeah, justice. Okay, you're going to, you're, with this new person that's either come in or coming in in the near future, and you might feel their energy. You might be psychically picking up on them, like having dreams about them, just telepathically feeling like you might not be talking to anyone right now, but you just feel that energy. You're just in that romantic high vibrational energy of true love like you just feel like someone's coming in soon like you're gonna be with someone soon like you're just kind of in tune with that that energy you're you're starting to get your faith back i feel like there was a tower moment i mean multiple towers that happened but i think this was necessary to shake things up and get you on the right path you know we have justice coming in so i kind of see this with like relationships too it's like you had to go through through those, those tower moments. You had to go through those, um, almost like an awakening process that you're going through, really. like, a, like a death and rebirth sort of process in a way, if you think about it. It's like you had to go through that energy to, to learn what you, what you won't accept, to learn how to, um, as an empath, to learn how to set boundaries, to learn what you don't want in a relationship you know it's like you you've been shown again and again what you don't want and now you're about to show be shown what you do want you're about to see why it didn't work out with anybody else i think um yeah because we have justice right after the tower so it's like all that pain wasn't for nothing there there was a purpose to it um and you have love coming in here with the two of cups and then you got the eight of wands Five of Swords, Ace of Cups, Eight of Swords. Oop, hello. Come on. Two of Swords, the world, the world popped up again. There we go. Queen of Wands, okay. This is really good energy. This is the energy you're about to be in. The Queen of Wands, like, and this is, this is like your true Aries power. This is, you know, 
seduction, enchantment, um, just leveling up when it comes to career, to finances, to love, just general abundance coming in for you. It's a really good energy here. I really feel like you've ended a cycle here. Like I'm, I'm looking at these cards and I feel like you've ended a cycle because like Knight of Pentacles upright would be reward after hard work. And since it's reversed, I almost feel like it was like you were putting all this energy into could be like living situations, could be relationships that just weren't serving you, like with relationships with psychic vampires where these people were just draining you or it was just very one-sided, like you had to chase them and they just were not giving you very much back. It was like just very one-sided energy. It was like a, reminds me of that, that song, um, running up, the, running up, running up that hill, that song. You guys know that song? It's like, just like a never ending merry-go-round. Like you just, you were putting all this energy into other things and you were not having that energy reciprocated. You were just being drained and I think you had a tower moment and I almost feel like it was like as an empath you had to learn that lesson because you didn't I don't I don't how do I explain that it's like you you completed a cycle I feel you know like you realized that it wasn't worth it you needed to see because you always saw the best in people which is a good thing but you you kind of started finally understanding that with like the psychic vampires with the people that just drain you and use you and you know choose other people over you the people that are constantly putting you last you finally had these tower moments come in and I think you had your final tower moment within the last six months where you just came to that realization like hey it's not worth it these people are not worth it like you finally have started preserving your energy and being and breaking that cycle and not giving more than you're receiving you know you finally understand that that um there needs to be a mutual energy exchange. You need to receive the same energy that you're giving out to these people, you know? So those tower, those tower moments were necessary. Um, those learning lessons were, it was necessary. And you have justice coming in. It's like you have stronger boundaries now. You're attracting better people now too as a result of these lessons, these tower moments that you went through. You're, you're, you've, you've com you're completing this cycle and attracting better people. And I do feel like with the two of cups here, I think you do have some kind of um, like love offer or something that's coming in in the near future. I feel like there's a couple different messages here, at least a couple with these four cards. So I think for some of you, if you've been in a karmic situation, I think it's saying that, you know, the karmic's always bitter and defensive, but you're in this like sweet, gentle, romantic energy. And this person is going to be leaving the karmic, I think, and coming to you. For those of you that are in a karmic situation, I think it's saying that they might finally be getting out of this energy and realizing that they have a way out, that they have you right in front of them and that they need to be honest with themselves and make a choice. I think they might be coming forward to you finally, for some of you. For others, I feel like there's just still damage that you're working through, so this new love might be coming in really quickly and you might almost like doubt all these strong romantic feelings you're having because you still have this damage from the past, you know, and I think you're going to wake up though and see that there's a way out, that there's an opening right in front of you and you're going to dig deep in and, and face that truth. Um, for others, it could be an ex coming back. I'm going to pull some more cards to see what else we can get here. But for others, it could be an ex coming back. And it's like you have to kind of be honest with yourself here, you know, um, and go forward. But but you're see with the world here, it's like you're completing whatever this is, you're completing a cycle. You're leveling up within the next few weeks, I feel. Um, and I mean, the timeline is different for everybody, but I think you can feel this energy that things are just about to shift for you pretty drastically, that you're coming to this new cycle with career, like maybe a job offer with love, like new love coming in someone from the past returning like I think that you can feel that your intentions are about to finally physically manifest you know especially with this queen of wands energy it's like you're getting into this like passionate yeah we got the sun here too like this passionate charismatic just owning your power just like you're stepping into your power more than ever you're you're making the world your oyster here the magician yeah it could be magic that you've been doing that's finally manifesting as well Ace of Wands reversed. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, we got, we have some major energy shifts here. Queen of Cups. See, I like how there's all three queens on the board. It's like, ooh, King of Cups. 
Queen and King of Cups. It's like this emotional, yeah. See these two? It's like this emotional new start, kind of. Um, oh, I'm going to put them. Where do I want to put them? I'm going to put them up here. Yeah, look at that. That's really good energy. What do you need to know about the new person? What else is there to say about the new person? Reconciliation. Yeah, like I said, I feel like there's someone from your past. I feel like there's an ex that's thinking about you that's wanting to come back in with an offer of loyalty, stability, vows. This is what you've been waiting and hoping for. You've been praying for this. You've been trying to manifest this ex back. And I think that they're finally wanting to be loyal to you. They're finally wanting to come in. There might be some shyness there, some fear of rejection, fear of um, fear of getting hurt. You know, not sure if you'll take them back. But they're not wanting to half-ass it. They're wanting to make sure that if they do come forward that they're going to go all out. And they might be revealing a hidden truth to you. Maybe, maybe they told you they didn't feel as strongly about you as you did about them. I think they're going to reveal their pain too. I think they kind of hid their pain for you and pretended like they were over it when they weren't. Yeah, this is an ex that's coming through. They've got some hesitation and mixed feelings still. I think they're just not sure how you feel because I think maybe it's been a while since you've talked. I think they are also are still afraid of commitment. Um, yeah, I think they are still a little bit afraid of commitment. I don't think that they've really... Um, let me level this out. Sorry. I think there is some c commitment fear. I think that they might also just be aware that your energy is moving on. They might be kind of aware of this new person that's either just come in or coming in. And so they're not wanting to lose you. And so it's like they might be wanting to come forward, even if they're not completely ready. Um, let's see. But you're leveling up like you've got something new coming in and I think it's in multiple areas of your life I think it's with career and finances in your life path and also with love I don't see it as just one thing I see it as you really really getting into your power with this queen of wands here and I think that this would be the new person the king and queen of cups um let me see what I can channel here the king and queen of cups yeah this is like, this is an emotional connection. This is someone who's willing to be vulnerable, willing to be honest with you, willing to be open with you. I don't feel like the ex was necessarily a bad person. I think that they were just too afraid. Um, I think that your energy is just a lot stronger than theirs is. And I don't think that they could really match you. I think that you could just... I think both these people are potential life partners. I actually, I do feel... Let me get the pendulum and confirm that. So the two people that are coming into your life, are these both potential life partners? Yeah. I think one of them is an ex that you've had a history with. Um, and they're, like I said, I don't feel like they're like a bad person. I feel like you saw the good in them and you knew that they were just damaged. I think that you loved them. Um, I think you were that, you were their rock, you know, you, you were that stable, safe space for them. And I just, I feel like they just, I feel like because of what they went through in their childhood or in their past, they're just afraid of commitment. Like they don't really know how to fully open themselves up. They don't know how to fully just like let somebody in. But they did, they feel like they did let you in and I feel like they just didn't tell you they did. But I feel like they do feel that close connection with you. Um, but I don't know if they're out there ever going to fully get over the commitment issues. It's almost like you could end up being married to them, but like they would still... Like, they might cheat or they might, like, not be super cuddly or they might have days when they just, like, want to be alone or they might, um, like, run off when things get hard every once in a while. There's just, like, this energy, like, you guys could have that commitment, like, you could have marriage, but I feel like there would still be a certain level of emotional unavailability with that person, if that makes any sense. It's like, you guys would have the the commitment but like there would still be things that they wouldn't tell you and it would they, this person has like almost like an up and down energy like I feel like on their good days they would they would open up to you and they would tell you how they feel and they would be just vulnerable with you but then they would have days it's like if it's not going well where they just kind of 
you know, distance themselves. They kind of just want to go do their own thing. And I mean, not like, I mean, that's, that's healthy and normal in a relationship, but I mean, kind of like in a toxic way, almost like, a God, how do I explain that energy? Like you guys have an amazing night together and then their commitment issues are triggered and they have to go, you know, stay away from you for a couple days or something or go do something else. Like that kind of energy where it's like, they're only so vulnerable with you it's like you guys could be married but it's like they when you have like the deep vulnerable talks and like the, that cuddly energy that you want in a relationship it's like they'll be in it sometimes but then other times it will trigger them and they'll realize like just how connected you guys are and they're gonna feel smothered and they're gonna run um like, the vulnerability is just going to scare them like it always has. Like, I think that they could get better to some extent, but not the not not an extent that would, like, make you completely happy being with this person for the rest of your life. You know what I mean? Like, they would work on it for you, and they would do better, and you guys would communicate, but it would still... I feel like it would still be a process. I feel like that that fear would always be there to some level, for most of them at least, you know, unless they got a lot of counseling, but I don't know. Like I said, I don't think that they're a bad person. I think that their commitment issues just stem from childhood, from abandonment, from a fear of losing themselves, a fear of being smothered, um, you know, whatever else. But I just, I just think that you could do better. Like, they're not a bad person. You could just do better. You could have somebody who's you know, going to look you in the eyes and be emotional and be vulnerable with you and the next day still be there being cuddly and open and not like get freaked out because you guys had shared a really vulnerable moment. You know what I mean? Like you can have someone who's in that king or queen of cups energy that's like comfortable with their emotions, comfortable expressing themselves, comfortable, you know, being married, comfortable having that kind of love that you want. Um, show me the new person. Show me some more stuff about the new person. And you're going to have a choice to make. I don't know when though. I don't know. I don't know if the ex has come back yet. I don't know if the new person's come in yet. I think it's going to be different for all of you, but you do have two people. I do feel if this is resonating with you, I do feel even if you're not talking to either of them right now, I do feel like in the future, you're going to have two people. Yeah. Open, honest communication message. See, I feel like, I feel like this person here this king or queen of cups like they would they would be honest with you they would be open they would be oops. could be someone that's watching you too on social media dreams visions telepathy yeah i think you're already having dreams about this person i think you're already kind of aware of this energy coming in and like i said you know so they might have hesitation and mixed feelings because they might be kind of watching you and like not sure what's going on with you, not sure if they have a chance. Um, like I said, yeah, there might be, you You want to hold out for this person, okay? Don't, if the ex comes back during Mercury Retrograde, just hold out. Unless it completely feels right to you with the ex. But if there's any hesitation, any doubt, like really think about where, you're, where you want to be in 10 years. Because I would give this a chance. You know, even if it hasn't come in yet, I would, I would hold out for the new love. Because that's going to be much more on your level that's going to be someone who can actually keep up with you I feel like the ex is mentally unstable yeah i picked up that kind of energy that hot cold energy from the ex okay new person new person new person sometimes it's hard like because when you're channeling two people sometimes just different Ugh, the ex is still coming up okay new person new person only new person only come on Magic, intention, power, manifestation. Yeah, I think you are trying to manifest the old person and you put all this energy into true love and the universe is like, well, if you want the old person, sure, but you can have something much better. Why don't you wait and find out what that is? Yeah, I think the ex kind of deceived you with manipulation and deception here. I guess the cards are just going to tell me what they want to tell me. Oh my God, manipulation, deception again. <laughs> okay, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, show me them. Yeah, waiting, hoping, praying. This is something that you've been kind of holding out for. Domination control. I sense like a good domination control though, like in like taking control in bed, like alpha male or alpha female energy, like somebody who's just vulnerable and open and knows who they are, knows what they want. You know, the ex is kind of insecure, kind of afraid. I feel like this person is just fearless. Like they just 
They're sure, they're sure about you. They're sure about them, about who they are. You know what I mean? Like there's someone that just kind of take like claims what they want. So it's like a sexual, it's a good kind of control and domination. It's not, it's not like a, it's not a negative kind of control. It's like a sexy kind of control. Taking it slow, pulling them in, get to know each other. Can I get two more cards for the ex? Or for the, God, freaking shit, for the new person. True love, potential life partner. Yep. Codependency, addiction. I see that as like a sexual energy here. It's like, ooh. But I also see it as, um, you know, letting go of the old person. Letting go, making, you know, you, you're going to make that choice. What's Where's your home? What's right for you? Could be someone that you meet at a club or that you've met at a club. Fast moving. I feel this coming in quick. I feel like you guys are going to fall in love quickly too. A lot faster than you even realize. Yeah, you have someone that's been cold, guarded, distrusting with you in the past, coming forward with an apology and regret. But again, you also have this other person that's already sure about you. They don't have to, you know, it's just, it's a better energy. It's a better energy. So I hope you guys hold out for that new love. I hope this resonates. Um, I do paid private readings. So if you're interested in that, contact me. My email address is below. Um, and if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And any donations to my channel are appreciated too. My PayPal link is below. Even just a dollar, it all really adds up quickly. Thank you guys.